Hello and welcome to this Thorogood Associates video on Tableau Server Integration with Microsoft SharePoint. My name is Madeline Malmgren and I am a Business Intelligence and Analytics Consultant with Thorogood Associates. Thorogood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau. In this demo, we are going to take a look at three examples. Firstly, a look at Tableau Server for those of you who aren't familiar with it, an embedded dashboard within SharePoint, and then finally the customised JavaScript API. The view you can currently see on the screen is Tableau Server. This is the tool provided by Tableau for sharing and interacting with Tableau content across your organisation. I am currently viewing this in Google Chrome, but this can also be viewed in any other web browser, as well as in the Tableau app on your tablet. The functionality in Tableau Server is very robust, and we find in general this technology suits most business needs. We simply turn to SharePoint in some situations where we need a greater degree of customization. Now let's take a look at some of the features of Tableau Server. On the left of the content pane on my screen, you will see that you can access the other projects, workbooks, dashboards and views, which you can access on the server. At the top, you can choose a content view, so you can view a list, or you can view the thumbnails, which give you an overview of what you will see when you access the dashboard. You can also download workbooks here to access them in Tableau Desktop or offline with Tableau Reader. I access the dashboard by clicking on the view. This particular dashboard looks at sales performance of our regions against our product categories. So the bars show the current year sales, while the color and the label show the performance compared to last year. Immediately, we can see we have good performance in the south for technology, which has lots of green, and poor performance for furniture in the west, where we have lots of red. We can also notice that for office supplies, we have much lower sales. So I'm going to exclude this data to focus on those higher selling categories. To see which of those product subcategories are selling best in the west, we can sort. And to view the data which underlies a particular data point, click on View Underlying Data. We can either see a summary or the exact values which make up that one bar. As you move to Visual Analytics, you may find that some business users may find it hard to make the shift from spreadsheets and exact numbers to viewing overviews and trends. The View Underlying Data feature is fantastic in this situation as users can use the visualizations to hone in on the data they need, but also get the detailed cross table that they are used to, which can be exported to Excel or a text file. In the server, we can also bookmark our changes for later, so keep all of those filters, and revert the changes to the original view. The next link I'm going to show is this dashboard exposed in SharePoint. Here we are simply using a page viewer web part to view exactly the same view on Tableau Server, but exposed within SharePoint. I'm going to focus on the content to remove any white space from the page and focus on the information that is most important to us. As well as the Tableau dashboard, we also have material which is stored within SharePoint, which is relevant to the Tableau dashboard. Here we have a notice board which will allow users to comment on the insights from the dashboard and discuss how to follow up on this insight. We also show a document library containing any supporting documents used for investigating any issues, tracking any changes, or explaining what might be happening. This helps to drive the conversation around the data within your organisation. You can add commentary in Tableau Server, however, we have created a much more robust and integrated solution when using SharePoint. You may be wondering if we can interact in the same way with the dashboards when using them in SharePoint as opposed to Tableau Server. And the answer is yes. All functionality from the server is available in the embedded view. So we can exclude office supplies, sort by sales in the West, view the underlying data, bookmark the view, and revert their changes. This can also be customised, so you are able to pick and choose which Tableau Server features are made available to the user within SharePoint. 
Finally, let's take a look at the functionality available using Tableau's JavaScript API. This is highly customised functionality and not available out of the box. So we would recommend talking to a company like Thoroughgood to set up content like this on your SharePoint deployment. The API provides a tremendous range of interactivity, not only in the Tableau view, but also over the rest of the web page. When I access this dashboard, we have set this up so that we have to log in to access the data. We could also set up so that we log in automatically, as in the previous example. In the most recent version of Tableau, 8.3, we can now enable Kerberos integration, allowing Windows authentication, which wasn't available in previous versions, which has been a very popular update. When the view opens, we have set the view up to automatically filter to the year 2012, so you will have seen the data changing automatically. You may also notice that there are no quick filters shown on this dashboard, meaning we have plenty of space for visualisations and to explore the data. In general, we usually find that users want lots of quick filters on the dashboard in order to control the view of their data. This gives a lot of options for interaction and exploration of the data, but can affect the space on the dashboard, the tidiness and also the performance. In this example, we haven't given up our quick filters, we have just hidden them in the custom filter area to save space on the dashboard. And this also provides extra space for supporting content within SharePoint. By expanding the custom filters area, we can see several filters which are very similar to those we would create in Tableau. So by doing this, we haven't given up any functionality that we would normally use. We are simply enhancing it. You will notice that as I change these filters, the dashboard is not updating. This can be a huge help in terms of performance of your dashboard if you need to set several filters every time you view the data. The standard Tableau filters have to be applied one at a time, meaning a new query will have to be sent to the data source for each filter you change. In this case, we can set our filters and click Apply, and all of our filters will apply at the same time, meaning that we only have to wait for the data to reload once. By collapsing the view, we can get a clear and tidy view of the data. You may have noticed that we do still have one filter on the dashboard showing the number of top products. This can be used in conjunction with the JavaScript API filters. Another very popular feature available with this custom functionality is the enhanced hierarchy filters. We often see a lot of frustration with the options available for the hierarchy filters on a relational database. In the current version of Tableau, you would need a separate filter for each level of the hierarchy. The API hierarchy filter we have created here is very user friendly allowing us to expand individual branches of the hierarchy and even giving me ability to search. As before, no values will change in this view until we click apply. This customization gives a much more user-friendly and succinct view for the filter than would otherwise be available. That concludes this demonstration on integrating Tableau with SharePoint. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at madeline.malgren at thoroughgood.com. And thank you for watching this Thoroughgood Associates video. For more information on Thoroughgood, our services and our upcoming events, please visit thoroughgood.com.